Eudaimonia is an ancient Greek word, particularly emphasised by the philosophers Plato and Aristotle, that deserves far wider currency than it has because it corrects the shortfalls in one of the most central, governing, but insufficient words in our contemporary language, happiness. When we nowadays try to articulate the purpose of our lives, it's to the word happiness that we commonly have recourse. We tell ourselves and others that the ultimate rationale for our jobs, our relationships and the conduct of our day-to-day -day lives is the pursuit of happiness. It sounds like an innocent enough idea, but excessive reliance on the term means that we are frequently unfairly tempted to exit, or at least heavily question, a great many testing but worthwhile situations. The ancient Greeks resolutely did not believe that the purpose of life was to be happy. They proposed that it was to achieve eudaimonia, a word which has been best translated as fulfilment. What distinguishes happiness from fulfilment is pain. It is eminently possible to be fulfilled and, at the same time, under pressure, suffering physically or mentally, overburdened and, quite frequently, in a tetchy mood. This is a psychological nuance that the word happiness makes it hard to capture, for it's tricky to speak of being happy yet unhappy or happy yet suffering. However, such a combination is readily accommodated within the dignified and noble-sounding letters of eudaimonia. The word encourages us to trust that many of life's most worthwhile projects will at points be quite at odds with contentment and yet will be worth pursuing nevertheless. Properly exploring our professional talents, managing a household, keeping a relationship going, creating a new business venture or engaging in politics, none of these goals are likely to leave us cheerful and grinning on a daily basis. They will, in fact, involve us in all manner of challenges that will deeply exhaust and enervate us, provoke and wound us. And yet, we will perhaps, at the end of our lives, still feel that the tasks were worth undertaking. Through them, we'll have accessed something grander and more interesting than happiness. We'll have made a difference. With the word eudaimonia in mind, we can stop imagining that we're aiming for a pain-free existence and then berating ourselves unfairly for being in a bad mood. We'll know that we're trying to do something far more important than smile all the time. We're striving to do justice to our full human potential and to work in some small but key way towards the improvement of our species. At the School of Life, we believe in developing emotional intelligence. To that end, we've also created a whole range of products to support that growth. Find out more at the link on the screen now.